Hi guys, welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas. You're probably wondering why I am dressed slightly like a uh, girl in a vintage baking ad, channeling a little Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Um, and if you've read the title of this video, you probably have a pretty good idea. Today we're going to be baking three cozy recipes. I've done some baking on my channel before, and if you've seen those videos, you know that I am not necessarily great at baking, but it's something that I really enjoy doing. So I'm going to share with you guys three of the festive, cozy, holiday type recipes that I like to make around this time of year. Um, but before we do that, we need to head to my kitchen, so let's go. All right, here we are in my kitchen. Welcome back. Got a little apron. To complete the look and now I have delved entirely into my cottage core aesthetic. First thing that we're going to make today is called wassail. It's a spiced cider drink and normally it is alcoholic but we're making the non-alcoholic version today. I made this last year and it was delicious so let's get into it. In terms of the spices, coriander, it has a very slight smell. I don't really, can't really smell that. Ginger is very distinct. And also, I learned how to cube ginger today, which apparently you have to, um, what's it called? What's that thing where you skin it? It's not called skinning. What's it called? Peel it. You have to peel it with a spoon. Um, then, cloves. Cloves smell nice. Cinnamon sticks. Smell delicious. All spice berries, which I've never actually used before, I've only made like a substitute for all spice. Smells like a <clears throat> Christmas tree store, and my favorite star anise. Smells like black licorice. I love black licorice. We have our large pot, a large um, crock pot. We're gonna pour the apple cider into the crock pot. Um, I'm just kind of fill it up. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add all of our spices, just throw them in. So let's drop some ginger. Mm, I hope I did this right. It also said two ounces of ginger, but I didn't really measure it out. I just chopped up some ginger. Hopefully that's not a problem. So it called for two cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna drop in four of them. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of the other seeds. One. And two. Okay. Eight whole cloves. We're gonna double it since I've pretty much doubled everything in this recipe so far. 9, 10, 11. Ugh. Who could be calling? What number was I on? Thank you. <laughs> 12, 13. Allspice varies. And it wants six. So we're doing 12. Then we're gonna move on and slice up some apples. It says to garnish with the apple. But I'm going to change the recipe. <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to add the apple in now because I, I don't know. That's all we need to add into the pot. Now the next step with this is warming it up. So I'm just going to stick it on the little heater thing. Nice. It's looking a little like a mud puddle that I would have made when I was little and added whatever I found in the yard to, but it's fine. Here's a little update on the wassail. This is what it looks like, and it smells absolutely delicious. All it has to do is just sit here, and honestly, you can let it sit for as long as you'd like. The longer you let the um, all the spices sit in the cider, uh, the more spicy, I guess, the wassail ends up being, um, more flavorful. So whatever you like to do, honestly. Um, and later on today, we're gonna strain it, and it'll be ready to drink. Now that I've got the wassail over there, 
warming up, we're gonna move on to the next recipe, which I believe is um, cranberry orange cookies. All right, need to add some flour to the flour pot, flour pot, flour bowl, flour container, and I'm making a mess. There's already so much flour everywhere. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, it's fine. So for the ingredients for this recipe, we are going to need All right, the oven is set to 350 degrees. The next thing that we're gonna have to do is chop up these fresh cranberries. When they're dry, they're not as tart as they are when they're fresh. These cranberries are almost chopped up. Then the next step is going to be um, getting the baking sheet ready, and I think we're gonna have to do some beating. No, we're gonna have to beat some ingredients in the bowl, as one does when they are baking. In a large mixing bowl, yes, in a large bowl. We're gonna add butter. It says a half a cup of butter. So this is going to be the whole stick. <laughs> We're gonna break out the electric whisk today. Oh. Well, I accidentally made this completely liquid, but it's fine. So in goes the butter. Two thirds cup of azúcar. There she is. It calls for a teaspoon of zest but I'm just gonna go at it until I feel like it's zesty enough. This is a good arm workout. It's beginning to look a lot like zestless. Oh my gosh, this really is hurting my arm. Whew. Bakers must be buff. This looks like I've absolutely murdered it. Ouch, don't zest your finger. Don't resist. We're gonna peel what's remaining off of the tangerine. And I'm just gonna add some tangerine juice. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna squeeze it in there. Ugh. This better work. It is disgusting. The sound is horrid. Okay, I think we're done here. I think we're done with that. Adding the egg, one egg, and some vanilla. I forgot about the vanilla. Vanilla extract. Let us crack the egg. There we go. Le oof. Inch it All right. Now we need to whisk it up. It is whisked, and now we need to add the flour, the salt, the baking soda, and the cinnamon. Here is one. A dos. Oh, there's flour everywhere. The flour is in. Now we need to add the baking, the baking soda. In the chigos. One. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
Boom. Here we go. Ooh, she's thick. And now we get to fold in the fresh and the dried cranberries. In she goes. Good, very good. Now, the last thing is to um, form them into tiny little cookie dough balls and bake for 12 minutes. So, let's do that. Alright, so our cookie dough is all prepared and we're going to pop that in the oven for 12 minutes and bake until it's like golden brown and it should be all set. So, let's do it! Alright, so now that our cookies are finished and our wassail is still simmering over there, we're going to move on to the third recipe of today, which is barm brack. Now, barm brack is an Irish bread, a dessert bread um, that is typically made around Halloween time, but it's made with um, lots of dried fruits and spices and tea and so for me it's a very cozy warm recipe that you can enjoy toasted with some butter and tea and it's just delectable so we're gonna make that although it's Christmas time and I'm going to show you how so let's get started First thing that we need to do, which should have been done by me last night, um, it doesn't really matter though. I've done this before where I made the same mistake, the exact same mistake that I did it the first time. So what you want to do, the reason why we have the tea is so that you can steep it and then you're going to soak your dried fruits in the tea. I have steeped um, the Irish breakfast tea for about three minutes now. I'm going to pour the tea over top of the fruits and let them sit. There. We're going to put the flour, sugar, and spices and salt into a large mixing bowl and mix it up. Um, dried fruits out of the tea and you're just left with the tea make sure you save both of these items so we have the strained tea what we're going to do is we're going to make a um, milk um, tea and egg kind of combination so we're going to pour half a cup of milk and half a cup of the tea there we go. and combine an egg in there and whisk So now we're just going to place that aside and in a separate tiny little bowl we're going to prepare the yeast. Okay, right now I'm just blending the yeast mixture right there and then adding in the milk, tea, egg, all that jazz mixture 
right into as well. Perfect. Ooh. I had to add a bit more flour um, because it wasn't as stiff as I needed it to be. bread is ready or the dough is ready to be covered and we're going to just cover it with a towel and sort of, uh, let it sit um, to rise for an hour and then we'll check back later. Okay so now that I've let the dough sit for an hour all that's left to do is to place it in the pan and bake for another hour. After this is all ready, um, we are going to make the sugary glaze that goes on top, and after that, we're pretty much done. that's it so that was how to make um, wassail which is a very spicy cidery drink um, cranberry orange spice cookies and the barn rack I hope you enjoyed watching this um, even though I started filming at 10 a.m. and it's now 4 in the afternoon I had a lot of fun um, usually baking is a little less stressful when I don't have to film it but nevertheless, it was a really good time. And hopefully maybe you guys will try some of these recipes out. Um, tell me what your favorite holiday recipe is down in the comments below. And um, thank you so very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye. has been for me. I don't know what does. <laughs> Taste it. Hot. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It kind of tastes just like apple cider. <laughs> no. But wait, wait, hold on. It smells different. Though. Okay, right. Maybe people make it just for the smell. <laughs> wait, it doesn't taste bad. Okay. No, it tastes different. It definitely tastes a different no. places. I think the first one, I just kind of like, I thought it was going to be really hot, so I think I just tried to like, <laughs> <laughs> which is not what you should do when something's really hot, but, um, oh, you're filming here? Yeah. What, Annalise, Cheers. what did you, what did you, it's actually good. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Gabrielle said the opposite. <laughs> Completely opposite. I, I think that 
it it doesn't smell good. Like it smells a little too saucy, like spicy. Saucy. <laughs> saucy, spicy. Um, but it it's, it um tastes good. Like when you sip it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Louise. <laughs> Why are you still doing it? I zoomed in. <laughs> no! 